Welcome to our devotional. Here is where we learn more about our Heavenly Father. Join us. You don't want to miss out on this blessing. Living Stones Church. Hello again. I hope you're having a wonderful day and you've had a lovely weekend and your day, uh, your week is starting off very well. To jump into our devotional today, I want to start off by telling you a story. The other day I went to pick up my daughter from preschool. She's three years old, so it's her first year of preschool. And she's always excited and, and happy when she comes home and always wants to tell me about her day. But this particular day, she was excited to tell me that her teacher was her friend. She said, mommy, mommy, did you know that my teacher is my friend? And I said, what do you mean? Well, the teacher calls her and the other students friends. They'll say, okay, my friends, time to go outside or time to clean up or they were, she refers to them as friends. And I smiled, I loved that. I smiled and I, and I just thought to myself what she must be thinking and feeling, her teacher who's like an authority figure, someone older than her, someone that gives her care during the day, and, and someone that uh, teaches her things, her teacher, is calling her friend and treating her sort of at the same level as she is. And it reminded me of the incredible friendship that we have with Christ. There's a song in Spanish called Eres mi amigo fiel. You are my faithful friend. And its lyrics ring so true. It's something that I say all the time. And it's even, it's scripture. And it says, ¿Quién soy yo para que, tú me, para, para que en mí tú piensas y que escuchas mi clamor? So who am I that you think of me and that you hear me when I call out to you? And it's true that you love me, you amaze me all the time, the lyrics say. And it says that you are my faithful friend and I am your friend. What a compliment that is that the creator of the heavens, our Lord and Savior, would call us friends of his. If we can go to the scripture, today I want to read from John chapter 15, verses 12 to 17. And I'm going to be reading from the New Living Translation. It says, This is my commandment. Love each other in the same way I have loved you. There is no greater love than to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command. I no longer call you slaves because a master doesn't confide in his slaves. Now you are my friends since I have told you everything the Father told me. You didn't choose me. I chose you. I appointed you to go and produce lasting fruit so that the Father will give you whatever you ask for using my name. This is my command, love each other. So we see here that there is, though, a requirement for being a friend of his, and that is to love one another. And through the rest of this passage, Jesus uses his love as a comparison. He says, in the same way that I have loved you. Verse 13, there is no greater love than to lay down one's life for one's friends. So Jesus is using his love as a measurement and gives us the example of sacrifice. Although he's not yet sacrificed himself, this is kind of foreshadowing what's to come. This is a kind of love that you rarely see in carnal relationships. You don't usually see uh, one one's love or friendship for another so deep that they'd be willing to sacrifice all that they have, their life, for another. However, Jesus gives us a command to strive for this type of love for each other. Verse 14, you are my friends if you do what I command. So our obedience to the Lord's commandments must be an ongoing lifestyle. And the Bible teaches that our salvation does not come from works. However, we will be judged for our actions, of course. 
And believe me, that poor decisions, poor actions on our parts can ruin, will ruin a relationship with Christ. One cannot be living in sin and expect to have an, a good relationship with Christ. Verse 15, I no longer call you slaves because a master doesn't confide in his slaves. Now you are my friends since I have told you everything the Father told me. Two things here. Now you are my friends and, and not slaves. Jesus is demonstrating his love for his disciples by calling them friends rather than slaves. In the workplace especially, I, I take this to my workplace, I believe there's a big difference between a boss and a leader. A boss is someone who manages people and a leader is someone who inspires and motivates your team. And then the second part of this, now you are my friends since I have told you everything that the Father has told me. Well, 1 Corinthians chapter 13 tells us that love is not selfish or self-seeking. Jesus did not keep to himself this meat, these good things that the Lord was revealing and that God was telling him. He shared them with the disciples that needed to hear this, that needed to learn these things. And they are shared with us today through the Holy Spirit. And the last two verses here, you didn't choose me, I chose you. I appointed you to go and produce lasting fruit so that the Father will give you whatever you ask for using my name. This is my command, love each other. A relationship with Christ is something that we ought to treasure. We are his chosen ones who will be fruitful for the glory of God, so long as we keep his commandments. How do we strengthen this relationship with Christ? Similar ways to the ones that we would that we would do in a carnal relationship. Think about it. First, you would spend time getting to know one another, getting to know the other person. You would begin to learn their likes and their dislikes. And you would also ask about their goals and aspirations for the future. Communication is also key. And now think about your relationship with the Lord. We learn that he dislikes sin and that he likes to be worshipped as our one true God who is worthy of it. Through reading scripture and the revelation from the Holy Spirit, we begin to learn his will and his purpose. And finally, being in constant communion with the Lord, constant prayer, speaking with him. He'll reveal who he is to us through his Holy Spirit and through his word. And so as we go about our day, I, I wanna bring this devotional to a close. Uh, and we'll close in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you so much, God, once again, for this time that we get to meditate on your word, and that is your truth, Father. Thank you, Lord, because you are our faithful friend, and that we get to call you friend, and you call us friends. Lord, we ask today, today that you would help us to love one another. Would you help us to strive for that love that Jesus showed us, that he still shows us today, Father? And would you help us to be obedient to your commandment, Lord? Help us not to be ashamed, Father God, but to share your good news with others, just as Jesus was not selfish with his disciples, Lord, but he shared with them the, the, the knowledge and wisdom and revelation that you gave him and that you give, it, give to us today through your Holy Spirit, Lord. We praise you because you bless us abundantly, Father. You bless us with a relationship with you. You bless us in our coming and going in our days, Lord. You make us fruitful, Heavenly Father, all for your glory. May your name and praise ever be on our lips. Amen. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you'll connect again for our next devotional. May God bless you.